Nick Sabrinsky here with Coach Daniel LaForce discussing the midway point almost of the women's basketball season. Teams already reached double digit wins this year and surpassed their win total of last season. Coach, thanks for sitting down and talking with us. Well, not a problem at all. So, 10 wins to this point. Mm -hmm. Coming up, obviously, is Thursday's game with George Washington, who's won 12 in a row. What did the team do to take the success you've had and to continue to build on it as conference play really starts up? You know, we just got to stay focused on what we're capable of doing no matter who we play. Um, you know, and I think we've been doing a great job of that despite, you know, playing different opponents, whether they're bigger than us, more athletic than us, you know, better shooters in terms of just, you know, having multiple shooters on the floor. We still got to remember what we're about and our foundation. De defensively, our foundation is to delay and disrupt, and offensively, our foundation is to share the ball and put it in the right hands of our scorers. And starting the year with the URI tip-off, a couple tough losses uh, to pretty good teams. Right. What did you have to do to go from that point to the run that you've been on now with so much success? How did you get the players to continue to respond when it was a bit of a rough start? You know, we really didn't have to do much. We just have great players in, in the program, players who want to win, players who want to buy in. And I think, um, you know, after those tough losses in, in the opening tournament, we just sat up, sat up down and said, you know, what type of team do you want to be? If you want to be a great team, then you have to just listen to the coaching. And from that day on, they've been doing exactly that. I mean, we've challenged them in so many ways to be better rebounders, um, better shooters, uh, better defensively. And they have answered every call and every um, challenge that we, we put to them. So. And speaking of challenges, one of them being some injuries. Obviously, mm -hmm. some key players that have gone down but you've had other players step up in the absence of those players. You know, talk about not only the filling the injuries, but the role that Sharice Wilson has played in trusting a freshman point guard to start from day one and what she's done for the team. You know, I feel women's basketball is a very delicate sport in that, you know, you have your, you know, leading scorer, your second leading scorer go down with injuries, there goes your season. But thank God that hasn't been the case for uh, URI. I mean, we just have kids who have stepped up when other kids, um, you know, couldn't perform. and. You know, and I think um, when a kid does go down with injury, you know, they're, they're still confident because they know we've been there before and we have won games without some of our, you know, bigger players and better players. So it's not really a shock uh, to our program when we do have injuries. I mean, it's something that you can't control, something that happens just like any ad any other adversity during a basketball game. And the one thing you got to remain is, is confident through it all. And lastly, on a little bit more specific, the game against Duquesne being down by 16 points, coming back 14 unanswered, and then the incredible stretch in the last three minutes. Some people saying one of the best wins the program's ever had. What does it mean to you in your first half season here to have accomplished something like that? Well, you know, a lot of people came up to me and said how much they enjoyed the, enjoyed the game. So I'm glad the fans and people, you know, watching enjoyed it. But it was a tough game to coach, let me tell you. Um, you know, it, it felt good because uh, throughout the basketball season, uh, you know, you, you're just going to have all different type of games, whether they're overtime games, games from coming down um, from a large deficit, games where you have leads and teams are making a run. Every game teaches us a new lesson, lesson and I'm glad our kids understood the fact that no matter what the score is, we still you know, have an opportunity to win if we continue to do the things that we're capable of doing and stay confident. So, you know, for this program, I'm glad it happened to us early. Um, so many things have happened to us early, meaning in our first year, um, that will take us a long way in, in, the, in the years to come. And wrapping it up, last question, as you progress forward, you know, you say it's early. From here to the end of the season, where do you want this team to be when it gets to the end, and what's the goal for the end of the year? You know, our goal was always to build a foundation or lay a foundation and continue to build upon that. And I think the fact that we laid our foundation so early in that learning the things that we're capable of doing, doing, learning the identity of the program, all that happened really early. So every game we want to build on that and just get better and better. We're not worried about wins and losses. We're just worried, like I said, about, you know, making sure we have a solid foundation for the future, whether that's next week, whether that's, you know, you know, Thursday against GW or next year or the future years. Um, I think our goal this year was just to make sure that, um, you know, we were building a solid program. And, you know, we have great players to build it with. You know, you mentioned Sharice Wilson earlier. She's been such a spark plug for us. And, you know, she's learned so much of, you know, from a freshman, being a freshman, how to lead a team, how to be an impact player. Um, and then we have players like Dom who really stepped up as well in their freshman year. And then all the seniors have stepped up. The one good thing that I like about this team is that the juniors and the seniors are the ones who are really stepping up 
during the conference because they know what the A-10 is about. They know the type of play that needs to happen. And it's good for the younger kids to witness that and, and obviously for us to have some, some success.